Hello everyone, welcome to our class to release lower body tension. Today's class is called the seed of your soul because we believe, a lot of people believe that your psoas area, so the hips, is where the seat of our soul lies. We hold a lot of emotional, physical, and mental tension in this particular area of the body. So when we go deep into the hips, into the psoas, we tend to feel a really deep release, not just physically, but mentally. So we're going to be going deep into that area today. If you're joining us for the 14 day yoga journey, welcome to your class 13. We are almost done the 14 days, which is quite incredible. Um, Or if you're just joining us for this one particular practice, I'm really happy that you're here. You won't need any sort of props for this practice, only yourself and your mat. So if you guys are ready, grab your mat and let's begin. This video is part of our Boho Beautiful program, 14 days of free yoga. You can sign up today for the two-week course consisting of 28 yoga and meditation videos by heading to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga. There is no catch and no hidden fee. And when you sign up, you will receive our mindfulness journey guidebook plus a new free yoga and guided meditation class delivered each day to your inbox. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and begin your journey today. With that said, let's get back to our practice, grab your mat, and let's begin. All right, my friends, let's begin today in child's pose. So you're going to come to the very back of your mat. You're going to keep your knees slightly open, reach the arms forward, rest your chest all the way down to the floor. Let's take this opportunity right now and just close the eyes and really focus on bringing in as much oxygen into the body through your deep inhalation and then a long exhalation out giving yourself the opportunity to go a little bit deeper into this child's pose take this opportunity today to set an intention for this practice set an intention to let go of everything that no longer serves you Let go of tension, stress, anxiety, fear, whatever negative energy that you may feel that's within you or upon you right now. Make an intention that through your practice today, through your breath, through each posture that we do, you'll release that energy, you'll release that feeling, and just give yourself the opportunity to reconnect, reconnect with that part of you that truly lives in peace and loving awareness. One more deep breath in. On your next exhalation, let's begin to round vertebra by vertebra, coming up into all fours position. Just bring your knees a little bit closer together here. And what you're going to do is tuck your toes under and just slightly drop the shoulders away from the ears, press into the toes, and then lift yourself up into our downward facing dog great and just take this opportunity right now to do a little rock side to side letting go of any tension you may feel in your legs you can do a bend of the knee so a little bit of a a walk out just do whatever feels good on your body here to let go of tension stiffness or resistance in the back of your leg good just hold it here breathe And then once you feel like you got a little bit more loose in the legs, let's just take a deep breath in and go a little bit deeper into your downward facing dog. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Spread those fingers wide. Good. And just hold, inhaling deeply into your nose. Exhale, allowing that sternum to fall a little bit deeper towards the mat. Inhale again. Exhale, rounding vertebra by vertebra, coming into your plank position, taking a chaturanga or knees chest chin if you like, just whatever feels right for your level today. Inhale, opening your body, upward facing dog, let's hold it here. Take a deep breath in, lengthening through the neck, and then as you exhale, push back, 
and release into your downward facing dog. Just inhale. Exhale, lift your right leg just slightly off the mat, keeping your hips square. Bend your knee and then just cross the right foot over. You can plant the toes or the pad of your foot on the floor, still continuing to release that sternum down towards the mat as you let your left heel come a little bit closer to the floor. So really getting deep into the back of your left leg here, into your hip flexor, more a little bit more into your calf, actually not your hip flexor. We're going to go into the hip flexor in a little bit. Feel that hamstring release. Take a deep breath in. Now on your next exhalation, just begin to slide that right foot higher along the knee and then bring yourself into plank. Bring your right knee towards the chest. Exhale, push back into your downward dog, this time placing your right ankle top of your left knee. It's almost like a pigeon pose. And then lift your heel, bend that bottom knee. And we're going to come into a variation of a pigeon in a child's pose. So you're keeping that ankle on top of your knee and sitting back to your back heel. Now you're going to start to get a little bit deeper into the glutes. The way we target the hips today is not only stretching out your psoas muscle, but we're really going to go deeper into the glutes, into the piriformis. And because everything is so connected in the body, that once we begin to release one area, the rest follow. And so it's really beautiful to see how the body begins to respond once we start to really go deep into the piriformis into the hip, into the psoas, and even the hamstrings too. Great, one more inhale. Exhale, press your way up. Lift yourself back up, downward facing dog. Slowly from here, transfer into plank. Bring that right knee in. Step back, plank position, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back. Release into your downward facing dog. Let's go to the other side. Lift your left leg. Just keep the hip square. Bend your knee and just cross it over, planting the ball of your foot onto the mat. Hold it here for a moment. Now going deep into your right side, into your right, right calf muscle, right hamstring. Just take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let it go. Go deeper. You're more than welcome to close your eyes here and just really focus on that inhalation and exhalation. And when you exhale, you allow yourself to release. Release the thoughts, release the worries. Just focus on this present moment. Focus on your body, on the connection to your breath. Sliding that foot over towards that right knee and then shifting your weight forward. Plank, bring that left knee towards the chest. Place the ankle top of your right knee as you push back. Flex the foot. Bend that bottom knee now and sit back into the variation of our pigeon in a child's pose. And just breathing here. See how far you can sit back to your heel there? Just notice every sensation in your glute, in your hip, your lower back. We're targeting many areas of the body here. Deep breath in. Exhale, beautiful. Slowly come on up. Bring yourself up into plank, knee to chest. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back. Release into your downward facing dog. Stretch it out. Great job. From here, let's work with your right leg again, reaching right leg up towards the sky. Hold it here. Now lift as high as you can. Just do your best. Don't worry about the height, but do your best. Bend that right knee. Exhale. Now you're going to bring it forward and step your right knee towards the right foot, towards the outside of your right mat. Holding this lizard pose, just breathing here. Now feel free to add a little bit of movement. So if you want to go side to side, if you want to just hold and breathe in stillness, whatever feels best for you. Just find that breath. One more inhale. On your next exhale, we're going to go a little deeper. You're going to drop that back knee. 
and I want you to roll the right foot to the pinky toe area. So the foot comes to the lateral side, the knee just gently falls away from your body, and then see if you can come down to your elbows. By coming down lower, you're gonna feel that much more of a deeper stretch. And what we're doing here, what we're focusing, is not only in releasing the right hip, but you're also allowing the pelvis to come down, which goes deep into that left hip flexor, to your left psoas muscle. And I really encourage you guys to play here, meaning you can add a little movement. You can see if maybe standing on your hands instead of your elbows allows you to go deeper into the psoas muscle. Just find your breath. And again, when we find stillness, we're able to close our eyes and just bring that awareness internally, noticing every sensation in the body and the mind. And if you feel any energy that's starting to rise up, any emotions, any thoughts, any memories, don't suppress it. Just like we talked about in our yin yoga classes, the best thing you can do is to let this energy leave your body. So allow it to use its own motion to release out of your psyche, out of your mental being. Just be aware and be present. Stay in the moment as it comes and goes. Awesome, guys. One more inhale. Really feel that deep stretch slowly. If you're on your elbows, come on up to your hands. You're going to uh, tuck your back toes under, lift the back knee. And all I want you to do now is just bring that knee that's pointing away from you closer towards the body. And you're just going to heel toe this right foot all the way to the other side of the mat, to the left, so as far as you can go. And then bring the heel a little bit closer to your body because we're gonna drop that knee into our pigeon pose. So drop it down, good, hold it here. And this is where it's gonna get a little tricky for all of us because some of you guys might feel higher up here and what you can do is take a pillow or any block if you have one or even a book, any sort of device or <laughs> prop that you may have around your house and you can place it underneath your hip right here. For some of you that you're feeling comfortable to come down, come down. And then come on down to your elbows or wherever you need to go. Let's get into our deep pigeon pose here. Close your eyes and again, just bring yourself to this breath. Bring yourself to the awareness of the body, the mind. And with your exhalation, Allow yourself to relax into the posture. Just notice where your body is feeling that restriction, that tension, and breathe a little deeper into that particular area of the body so that you can let go, so you can relax. Just breathe here. This is a wonderful practice to do after a long day at work or if you've had a really long and hard workout or if you do a lot of running and hiking and use a lot of your lower body just taking time in your day and doing a couple of these postures and holding and breathing through them it's going to bring so much incredible benefit to your body to your recovery and to just your overall physical well-being so finding that time in your day is so important. When you're in it, finding that breath through the postures is so important. Let's take one more inhale. Exhale, bring yourself up. Now we're just gonna go right into the next posture again, going deep into the hips. Shift your weight over to that right hip. And you're gonna swing this left leg around. And you're gonna make um, 90 degree bend with that right knee then place your left heel on top of that right knee so just like this and then use your left hand and start to push the knee down this is called your fire log pose and what we're trying to aim here is to get both knees 
down but of course if that's not possible for you today you're just gonna hang out here you're just gonna breathe and use your left hand to add as much pressure as you feel you need to feel that deep release some of you guys might be all the way down then if you are you're gonna release your body forward and again we're going deep into the piriformis here we're going deep into your glutes Relax your chest over your body and just let it out. Breathing deeply and letting go. Inhale. Follow your breath. Exhale. Just let yourself melt into this posture. Feel every sensation in your body. Feel the restriction. Feel the release. Close your eyes and just go inward. Feel the breath moving through the body. Feel the muscles slowly letting go. Inhale. Now exhale, lift your body back up. And then from here, just bring this left knee, the top knee up, plant the foot down, and just take a hug of that left knee, taking a gentle spinal twist, left arm behind your back, and you're just going to look over your left shoulder here. For those of you guys a little more advanced, if you want to go do something more fancier, bring the elbow down or do a bind through, just do whatever feels good for your practice. However, for anyone that's more just getting into it then this is a perfect variation just to hold and you're pulling that knee into your body while at the same time looking over your left shoulder and just keep that left arm close to your body great and then slowly release extending that top leg swing it around hands down press into plank position and just take a chaturanga to release inhale let's open up upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog let's take it to the next side left leg reaches up big stretch hold it here bend your knee exhale come through into plank step your left foot to the left side of your mat and then from here just walk it out so it's right along the left edge of your mat you're allowing the hips to drop down and again, just move around and start to feel where that tension is in your hip flexor, in your hip. Drop the knee. Roll the left foot to the lateral side, pinky toe area of the foot as you allow the knee to fall away from your body and then come down a little bit lower if you're able to today. If not, stay on your hands. Let's relax. Let's close our eyes. And again, come back to the breath. A beautiful thing you can do in this particular posture is practice your ujjayi breathing. And ujjayi breath means you inhale through both nostrils. And then when you exhale, you actually exhale through the back of your throat. So you make a bit of a humming sound in the back of the throat. And a great visual is to always imagine an ocean wave coming into shore and then back out to the ocean. And so that movement is what you're recreating with your own throat so inhaling in and exhale just let it go and it's a really great way to relax the nervous system and calm the body calm the mind so when we're going into these really deep releasing postures we're letting the body know that it's okay to relax it's okay to let go it's okay to be still job one more inhale exhale let's come on up to our hands you can lift the back knee off the floor so you have a little bit more room heel toe left foot all the way to the other side and again to make this a little easier for you guys just slide the heel closer towards your right hip so you can drop that knee down coming into your pigeon pose once again use any props that's needed underneath your left hip and then come on down to your desired variation. So onto your elbows, maybe all the way down with your chest. 
Make sure the back leg is right along the center of your mat so it's not going to the right or the left. And again, let's come back. Let's come back to the breath. Let's come back to the awareness, the sensations in the body, the thoughts in the mind. Being the watcher of your thoughts. We can't silence the mind. The mind always is thinking, it's working, it's thinking of the past or the future. So the best we can do is just be aware. And when we notice with loving awareness, different thoughts, thought patterns coming through, instead of playing into them and understanding what they mean and what they are, simply take note that they're there and then just let them drift on by. You're watching clouds drifting in the sky. Allow your thoughts be the clouds and you're just being the observer. Focusing only on the inhalation, the exhalation. Letting go of tension in your head. Letting go of tension in your heart, in your mind. Realizing that right now is all that matters. This moment, this breath, this opportunity to be with yourself is all that matters. Take one more inhale. Exhale, come on up. Shifting your weight over to your left. Swing your right leg around. Planting your right heel now on top of your left. Now before we get anywhere further, drop that right sit bone. So both of your sit bones are grounded. And once again, friends, some of you guys might be right here and that's totally fine. So if you're having more restriction in the hip, just, just be with it, it's okay. Use your right hand and just work on getting that knee to come down. As long as you can sit with both sit bones grounded, you can keep that knee high. If you're a little bit more open and you're all the way down with both knees, then you can release the body and go even deeper into the hip. But again, friends, like remember, all of us are on a different journey here. And maybe some of you are just welcoming yoga into your life and you have to really find that patience and self-love with yourself through the journey. And over time, the body will respond to it, the body will learn, the muscles will remember, and you'll be able to go deeper and deeper. But it's never just going to happen overnight. Everything that's worth it, everything that has a lot of benefit to us, takes time to learn, to take into the body, and to give the body the opportunity to Release and go deep. So close your eyes and just enjoy wherever you are. Enjoy the stillness, enjoy the release. Enjoy the sensations happening through your piriformis all the way up to your lower back. Another deep breath in. Now as you exhale, we are ready to come out. Slowly reach your arms up. Bring this right knee up and then just plant the right heel and foot down. You can bring the other heel closer to your body and just give your right knee a hug, right hand next to your body as you look over your right shoulder. Just a nice little twist here. You don't need to go too far. You, need to, you don't need to force anything. Just twist and look over your shoulder. And then slowly come down, come back to center, release. And what we're gonna do here is actually just release the legs, extend them forward, shake them out, and then plant your hands behind your back, point the toes, squeeze the glutes, just lift up high, opening through the chest and the heart. And exhale, drop the body, release the body all the way down and just take a very quick relaxation here, Shavasana. If you guys have more time, you're more than welcome to stay in the Shavasana. Otherwise, let's just take a couple of breaths. Keeping the arms relaxed, your legs relaxed. Breathing deeply. 
into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest. Exhale out. Just give yourself the permission to completely let go. Notice how your body is feeling. How are your hips feeling right now, your flexors? Just let it go. Notice how your mind is feeling. Notice where you are right now in your mind. Just notice. Keeping this peaceful, blissful self-awareness, may you carry it in your heart. Bring it outward, off your mat, to your everyday life. Being aware of your own reactions to the circumstances that come your way. Because we cannot control what life brings our way. But we can control how we react to those challenges and opportunities. So always be aware and always react and move forward from your heart. Feel free to just continue let go deeper and deeper if you wish. However, if you wish to close off the practice with me, add a little movement to your fingers and toes, and then reach your arm over your head and roll over to one side, coming up to your seated position on your mat. Feel free to keep your eyes closed here if you need to, just to keep that awareness internally, resting your hands on your knees, Let's take a deep breath in into your entire body, filling your lungs, your heart with so much oxygen. And then exhale, let it go, allowing the shoulders to drop away from the ears, elongate the neck. Slowly bring the palms of your hands together and over to your heart. And bow down towards your own heart thanking yourself for your beautiful practice today for taking the opportunity to release tension stiffness and restriction out of your hips and out of your heart thank you so much for joining me congratulations on completing day 13 of our 14-day yoga series i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day namaste If you've enjoyed this class and want to participate in more classes like this as part of our new program, Boho Beautiful 14 Days of Free Yoga, head over to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and sign up at absolutely no cost to you. Thanks again. Namaste.